bad for the living cells. But when we take the imaging modalities, the photoelectric effect, which is the effect conveyed in the form of total transfer of energy to the outer shell electron, it is basically predominating when we talk about the diagnostic form of X-rays. So photoelectric effect is a useful effect when we talk about the image formation. So it is producing the image on the your radiographic film. So in uh, our institution, there were two broad methods we had energy dispersive exploration and the other was proton induced X-ray emission. So proton beam is highly, so this is relatively high energy exposure as compared, compared to the other modalities like imaging with radiographs or now things which you have to take care when you are imaging the patient. Because as I have already said, so these effects these defects has to be tackled at a very advanced and early stage so that the unnecessary radiation exposure is not to the worker as well as to the patient. For all these conditions, the objective is basically to reduce the scattered radiation and the excessive exposure dose to the working occupational person. Now, these are again the predominant causing of harmful radiation, the conventional X-ray unit and there is a mobile shield for operators and this is the control panel. So all these concepts our technicians should keep in mind that control panel is basically your panel to control the potential difference which you are applying to the cathode and anode. And you have to be very cautious about the midi ampere. And if the fractions are all in, all in midi, seconds, midi seconds, everything is the fraction of that unit. So you have to keep yourself aware about these control panels and mobile sheets, their use, when to put that between the operator and the patient and the conventional unit that how, what is the composition, where the collimators are located, where this tube is, has to be oriented, all these factors you have to keep in mind. Now these are the key guidelines which I was mentioning that Atomic Energy Regulatory Board and your Baba Atomic Research Centers, they basically provide certain guidelines X-ray energy for an extended period of time and this system is then subjected to the image in which the image is stored is subjected to the image reader. So initially the method was slow but later on with the evaluation of the time it became very advanced and it also has got the basic concept like conventional that latent image formation has to be their image acquisition has to be there and then the plates are ready and they are subjected to the readout system and here you can see the latent image which is formed it is scanned and subjected to the light in the form of laser light 